if your key is on and the kill switch is up and your sled still won't start, don't stress. The fix might be as simple as throwing in some fresh plugs. So let's talk about it. I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports and today we're going to be doing Today we'll be doing a basic maintenance and repair video series for your Polaris two-stroke snowmobile. And in this video, we're talking spark plugs for your RMK900. Let's get right into it. So Polaris says the symptoms of a failed plug include the following. The motor turns over but won't start. It seems to have lost power or it's backfiring continuously. Now this machine's actually starting and running great, but I decided it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and change these plugs ahead of Polaris' 2000 to 2500 mile recommended maintenance interval. And as far as tools and parts go for this easy one beer job, it's a really short list. And since a foul plug can happen to anyone, anywhere, leaving us stranded 20 miles from nowhere during the winter, I definitely keep all of these items in the storage bin of every sled. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the maintenance videos coming out in this series. So let's get this easy procedure started by opening the hood and locating the plugs with their rubber boots on the top of the motor. And I'm eternally grateful that they are easily visible and accessible without removing anything on this RMK two-stroke. Because as you know, if you've seen our four-stroke turbo plug change, this job can be needlessly difficult and time consuming on other players models. But once we've located the plugs on the sled, we simply pop the boot up and off the plug so we can get our socket on there. We'll knock the spark plug loose by grabbing our deep 1316 spark plug socket and spinning it counterclockwise. Wait, wait, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Yep, counterclockwise. And once it's loose, it should unthread easily by hand. Polaris also mentions that if your old plug comes out looking like either of these, it's either wet fouled with oil or has been overheated. And further investigation for a deeper problem might be necessary. Now I usually run NGK spark plugs in all of my machines, but the Polaris book and dealer insisted on these champion part number RN57YCCs, so I suppose we'll stick with the plug the manufacturer chose when designing the motor. Still not a terrible idea to double check that the new one looks to be the same on both ends and the same size compared to the one that just came out. And I actually also like to throw my old one in the little box since the sled was still running. And then we've got a free set of extras to keep with us on the trail. So the distance between the center electrode on a spark plug and the side electrode or the tip is referred to as the spark plug gap. And an incorrect plug gap can definitely affect the way these sleds run. But fortunately, one of these plug gap tools is only a couple bucks and it will make it really easy to gap these plugs to the correct 0 .028 gap. All right, so this is a spark plug gapper. You can get them for about a dollar at a, pretty much any auto parts store. I don't know if you can see the little numbers on there, but it's got, you know, 0 .020 all the way up to 0 .030. We're going for 0 .025 to 0 .028 right in here. Um, it's got this little thin side and then it gets fatter as you come around if you had some giant gap on a spark plug. But all we're going to do to use this handy little tool, we just place the plug on the narrow side where the tool marks zero and slide the plug around to the correct 0 .028 gap. Now our freshly gapped plug is ready to be installed into the motor. And it should thread in very easily and smoothly by hand. And we're going righty tighty so it'll be clockwise. If it's difficult to spin, you'll definitely want to stop pull out and not force it down there with a ratchet because I promise stripping the threads in the top of a motor makes for a shit day. The player's book says the torque specs are only 18 to 22 foot pounds for these plugs but since we aren't likely to carry a torque wrench with us out there on the trails we'll just go a quarter turn with the ratchet or nail in this case once it's hand tight. I also noticed in the player's book it's important to make sure the plug wires and boots go back onto the side they came off of as the sled will get all confused and it won't run right if the wires are on the wrong plug. And I saved the other plug as well and repeated the gap and install process on this side. And in the past on other jobs I've used anti-seas on the plug threads but being new to working on sleds the owner's manual don't say to and a couple of service departments I asked about it said not to worry about anti-seas. But I'm curious as to what your thoughts and experience are with anti-seas or on sled plug changes in general for that matter. So please feel free to share that with all of us in the comments below. We definitely don't want to bear down on these with all our man strength because over tightening and stripping these plugs into the motor can turn a casual one beer 10 minute job into a serious pain in the ass. So we'll just go a hair tighter than snug and live to drink another day. It's important to make sure the plug wires and boots go back onto the side they came off of as the sled will get all confused and it won't run right if the wires are on the wrong plug. So I hope you found some of this RMK 900 spark plug information helpful. And if you did, do me a quick favor and give the video a thumbs up so I'll know we're on the right track here. And of course, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on how to improve these videos, or especially if I missed anything for the spark plugs on this machine, please share it with us in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.
I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, we'll see you all on the trails. And be sure to subscribe so you don't risk. And be sure to subscribe so you don't risk.